Two and a half weeks after this crack in the Lakeshore Dry Bridge over the Chicago River forced its closing, we've learned permanent repairs are now underway. CBS 2's Chelsea Irving joins us live from the bridge with a look at the big fix. Chelsea. Rob, behind me is that repair that the Department of Transportation had promised. Steel plates now being installed to hold this bridge together safely. Work attaching the custom fabricated steel plates started yesterday. The Chicago Department of Transportation says workers will install the plates to several locations under the viaduct, starting at the spot where the cracks developed. That first major crack spotted almost three weeks ago when city crews noticed it while doing routine work. That forced the 24-hour shutdown of northbound Lakeshore Drive in this area, while support beams were installed below this section of bridge over the Chicago River. With those beams in place and traffic safely running above, CDOT has been working on preventative maintenance and repairs. That included cleaning and painting sections of the steel all to ready it for the plates that are now being installed. Last month, we took a civil engineer from UIC to take a look at the problem. Today, we went back with her to check out the repairs. Right now, the load is trans the carried by those towers. So once they remove the towers, the load will transfer from the girder to the expansion joint, and they can make sure that all the stresses are below the, uh, the limit and so we can safely use that uh, new retrofitted connection. So it seems like a good fix. Yes. Repairs here are expected to take several weeks, but not interrupt traffic flow. After this crack was found, CDOT said they were inspecting other areas where there are similar setups. We have now learned that those two structures were at Fullerton and the river and at Wacker approaching Lakeshore Drive. Those inspections were completed last week, Rob, and we are happy to report they found no significant structural or safety concerns. Reporting live underneath Lakeshore Drive near Lower Wacker, I'm Chelsea Irving, CBS 2 News. Yeah, Rob. that's certainly good news, the no additional repairs needed there. Thanks, Chelsea.